What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be making an adorable watermelon cake with attitude. My name is Lori and you guys are watching The Icing Artist. I baked two six inch round vanilla cakes that I just dyed a ready pink color. That way my watermelon cake looks like a watermelon on the inside too. I then layered it up using some light pink I use green. I then layered it up using some light green buttercream. First step, and I can't even say it right. Once it's all layered up, it is time to crumb coat it. I decided to crumb coat it using some pink buttercream. When I made my icing for this cake, I actually made it a thinner consistency on purpose. That way I'm gonna be able to blend the colors together really nicely. For all the recipes I'm using in this video, of course, I will be leaving links in the description box below. We're gonna be using three different colors of buttercream for this cake. For the crust, I'm using a darker green. I'm just gonna pipe that going around the bottom. I'm gonna give it two layers of buttercream. And then for the rind, I decided to use a light green because I thought it would look really pretty, but you guys could also use white. No judgments here. I'm just gonna do one layer of that. I'm then gonna cover the rest of the cake in a pink buttercream. I just use a deep pink food coloring with a little bit of red into it to give it more of that watermelony color. We match. I started to smooth out my cake using my offset spatula. I start on the top and just kind of smooth that out and then work my way to the sides. But to blend all the colors together, I'm just using like a straight spatula and I'm gonna be dragging that through the icing that's gonna really blend it. I actually made a unicorn inspired cake with a very similar technique. If you guys wanna see that video, I will leave a link right over here, just click the I. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys get notified when I put up new videos. For the watermelon seeds, I didn't wanna like hand cut out all of the seeds because I thought that would be such a pain in the butt. So I came up with a genius idea. I rolled up my black bonnet and I just used a flower cutter. I think it's a blossom. Then using my knife, I just cut off the petals and it almost was a perfect watermelon seed shape. I then glued those onto my cake using a little bit of water. Now you guys can go a lot of different ways like this. You can leave the watermelon like this, which looks really cool, I'm just, just a watermelon cake. Or you can make it a cute kawaii style watermelon and make some cute little eyes. Or you can make a, a really cool watermelon. To make the sunglasses, I just cut out two large circles and then cut off the ends of them. I then cut out a strip of black fondant and kind of glued that right on top and then placed that onto my watermelon. I gave him kind of a side smirk because I thought, yeah, he's gotta look cool. <laughs> the sunglasses look hilarious. I don't know if you guys like them or not. Maybe I should have left it with a quiet or left it with no face. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would have done. And of course, as always, if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You guys can subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right over here. I'll also leave more videos over here that you guys can check out. And don't forget to come back here again next week because we will be making something else into cake. Bye guys.